The image that you can see on the screen shows a diagram of a classic respirometer. A respirometer is a piece of apparatus that is used to measure the rate of respiration of an organism. You can see in this respirometer are some seeds. So they're a small organism that is respiring and we want to know how fast they're respiring. The way that that is measured is by this capillary U-tube in the middle, which contains coloured oil or water. What happens is, as the seeds absorb oxygen, they draw oxygen in from their surrounding area. It reduces the amount of pressure in here, and it draws the liquid up through the capillary U-tube. So it's a similar process to transpiration. So because the oxygen is drawn in, that leaves less, uh, less space, and so the oil or the water moves up to take its place. So we can measure from its start point to its end point over a given amount of time. So maybe we leave it for an hour and we see how much the coloured oil or water moves in that hour. That will tell us how much of the oxygen in this, uh, in this boiling tube has been absorbed by the seeds. Now, there are a few other features of this respirometer that make it useful. First of all, the seeds are absorbing oxygen, but they're also producing carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide would increase the pressure in boiling tube B. So it's all very well and good them taking in the oxygen, but if they're also releasing carbon dioxide, it will counteract the change in pressure and the oil will not move. Now to compensate for this, this tube contains some potassium hydroxide solution and potassium hydroxide solution absorbs carbon dioxide. So that means that the seeds are absorbing oxygen, and even though they're producing carbon dioxide, it's being absorbed by the potassium hydroxide solution. So the changes in gas pressure of this container are only caused as a result of the absorbance of oxygen. They're not caused by carbon dioxide. And you'll notice that there's a filter paper wick in here. And the purpose of the filter paper wick is just to increase the surface area of the potassium hydroxide so that the carbon dioxide can be absorbed as fast as possible so it doesn't cause changes to the volume inside this sealed container. Now, you're probably also wondering why A is over here, why there's a whole second set of apparatus that doesn't have the seeds in it. And in answer to that, we have to think about what would happen if we only had B. So if we only had this section here and we wanted to test the effect of temperature on the rate of respiration, let's say you heat this up. What would happen is the volume of gas in here would expand and it would push on the oil and it would adjust the oil. So the oil would move even though the rate of respiration hasn't changed. However, if we also have a second setup that doesn't have seeds in it, then if we heat up both of them, the change in volume in B will match the change in volume in A, and so the oil won't change, the oil won't move. It will only move because the oxygen is absorbed. So having a control unit on the respirometer allows us to account for changes in pressure because of temperature changes. So it compensates for temperature changes and prevents the temperature from affecting where the oil is on the respirometer.